Hello, and welcome to Tangy Subtle Luxuries. My name is Tanya Williams, and on my channel, I will be sharing luxury, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So today, I want to talk to you about the most my most loved handbags. So before we get started, let's talk about my outfit of the day. So today, I am wearing a dress that I got from H&M, which I really love. It's it's so old. It's cotton. It's 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 so nice. Uh, I I don't even know what else to say. I will try to link something similar with it along. You'll see pictures. I paired it with a jean jacket, and also my fifth and ninth sunglasses. I really like these. These are lightweight. I got I picked these up from Nordstroms, and I think they were thirty dollars. And I. I really like them. They amp up an outfit. These are like so nice. They're like my new go-tos and for a fraction of the price, like the designer glasses, but they get the job done. So let's get started talking about my most loved handbags. <clears throat> and I will rank them for you and I will tell you if I would or wouldn't buy them again and why I would or why I wouldn't buy them again. So let's get started. So the first handbag I wanted to talk to you about is this Gucci Dianasis. Now I love this handbag. This is an absolutely beautiful handbag. I love the chain strap I, because I, I love to carry a handbag um, by the top handle. I just think it's just so great. But however, you can carry this handbag on the shoulder as well and it comes down it's a nice size it's it's very it's very nice the the chain um handle it's it's very substantial it's this handbag is pretty heavy i mean it's not really that heavy but the chain strap it's very heavy if you can see it's really thick and substantial but it is heavy and it is durable I love it. Uh, uh, this s silver chain is kind of like gunmetal. It's not really, really that bright, um, crispy silver, but it is nice. However, but it is, it is, but it is very nice. And I also love the diamond, the the diamond head. I think this is called what is this called? The texture tiger head closure. Now, this is what makes the bag. I think this is what amps up the bag and what makes and what makes the bag it's very nice this and with the gucci with the with the ggs also when you open it up there's this flap this is a suede flap it's suede on the inside it's also suede at the gossets on the side as well on each side you can lift this front pocket up and here it's a pocket this front flap up i'm sorry and then there's a pocket here and I usually put sometimes cash my or my card holder in here or a parking a parking ticket in here. And then when you open it up, it has two pockets inside along with a middle zip pocket. So you can put things in there that you need, probably like cash in your in your in your wallet. And sorry about that, my phone's going off. So yeah, you could put your wallet in here as well and it's very substantial. Now this handbag is one of my go-tos. I wear this handbag a lot. I've had it about two years. No, wait a minute, three years probably. And it still looks brand new. I mean, it is such a workhorse. It it holds a lot. It's very nice. I usually, I like the GGs. I on this bag and I like the color because usually I don't really like monogram bags but this one is the exception because this is so pretty I just think that it just it, it just it just it's just what it is it's just beautiful and I just love this tiger head this is what really draw me to the bag to the handbag and then this this part of the suede peeking through um through the canvas and the whole design of the bag the gossets 
and the bottom of it, it doesn't have feet. It has this weight also on the bottom as well. And it's just very nice. It's very beautiful. It's durable. Uh, you, if you get something on it, you could wipe it off as well. I, I scotch guarded the, um, the suede on it. So if anything happens, I can just wipe it off or whatever. And it's fine. I haven't had any problems and I've had it for three years. And as I said, it still looks brand new. Now the price of this bag, I paid 2,100 for this bag. Now this bag costs 2,650. Would I buy this bag again? Yes, I would. I think that it's well worth it. Um, considering within three years, it only went up like $450. Of course, I would buy this again. I think this bag is, is very nice. I love it. I This will always forever be with me. I don't buy my bags to sell. I keep them, everything, because before I make a purchase, I think about it for a long time before I fork out money to um, buy a handbag because I don't buy them to sell them. I buy them to keep. So this is a keeper. Now let's go to my next bag. And that would be this. This is the Coco handle. This is the Chanel Coco handle and caviar. Now, this is a beautiful, gorgeous bag. It's in blackout. You can see the CCs are in black. The little gossets for the strap right here, the little strap clips are in black. This whole bag is in black. Everything about it is black. It, um, you open it up right here and it has two inside pockets. I keep this bag stuffed with tissue. The inside of my, now this bag has recently became a, uh, this, this um, is recently became a classic. My bag is all black. If it was a classic, it would have the um, leather maroon interior with inside of it. However, my bag doesn't have that and I'm glad that it, it doesn't because if it did, it would make the bag heavier. This bag is light. It's not heavy at all, which I love about it. Inside, it's so dark in here, but it's so dark inside here, but it has two pockets right here on the side, right here. Also with the lipstick pocket, you can see here, it has a zipper. It has a zipper in the middle as well. And then it has a back pocket on this, on the back, in the back also. And then it has this Mona Lisa pocket. I don't put anything in here. If I did, it would be just like a parking ticket or whatever, because it's not big enough to fit anything else, not even a wallet or your phone as well. And then also it has the strap, which is, it's black. It has the leather going through it as well. And then it has this leather strap right here in the middle of the chain, which is very nice because it, it gives you, it doesn't have the chain all the way through, which I like because this part will be easy on your shoulder. So it lets you have that rest of ease on your shoulder if you want to carry it um, on your shoulder. I do not carry this bag, this handbag with this strap. I usually like leave the strap at home. I don't, I, like I said, I'm a top handle girl. I just like carrying it by the top handle. I like the way it is. Now this is the small size. They have a mini, the small, and then they have the medium one. The mini is too small. The medium is just like too big. And this is just right. It fits everything that I carry with me on a daily basis. <clears throat> now this bag is like I said, is in the is in the caviar, which I'm glad because lambskin, um, it's just too soft for me and it doesn't hold up. Now this bag because it is caviar, it does hold up a lot. It, it does hold up really good. It's nice, it's squishy, it keeps its shape. Like I said, I usually put the stuffing in it. I usually have the stuffing in it, so to help it keep its shape. Now, this bag will crease, and you can see right here that it is creasing some because right here and right here from opening and closing it, and it does have a crease right here from opening and closing. But that's nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do about it. And you can see some creasing here 
as well, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, I do carry this um, sometimes, but not that much, but I do use it. Now, this bag, I paid $4,000 for this bag. This bag is currently now $6,400. Would I buy this bag again? Heck no. This bag is too expensive. I, um, my husband brought this bag for me. I would not buy it again. To tell you the truth, it was like something that I had to have. I just had to have this bag. I loved it. Oh, I wanted a Chanel. Oh, I couldn't live without a Chanel. And once I got it, I was like, okay, yeah, it's nice. Then it was all over. I was done with Chanel. The price increases. And then plus the quality and you know, you pay, you pay all this money for these handbags and then the quality of them are not as good. The, I mean, it just, it's just unbelievable. Now you're going to pay $4,000 for a bag, but then you don't check the quality of the bag and you're trying to compete with Hermes, which you never will because they're hand stitched Hermes handbags are. And Chanel bags are done by machine. So I would not um, pay $4,000 for another handbag because there are so many other handbags out there that I think that you could get that would look like a Chanel. It might not be a Chanel, but they're very good at Chanel. Or if you don't want a Chanel, like I'm going back to my first love, which is Coach. And that's the handbag that I love. And that's the handbag that I will continue to purchase. No more Chanel for me. This is my one and my only. And I'm fine. I'm satisfied. So, like I said, um, yeah, I, I did I tell you how much I paid? I'm sorry. I went off on a tangent. But yeah, 4000 and this bag is worth, this bag is now retailing for 6400 And I think Chanel is going to have another price increase as well. So there you have it. This is a no for me. And my next handbag is one of my very favorites. Now, this is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. Now, I love this handbag. It is small, but however, it is mighty. This handbag is like out of the out of the two that I've shown you, this is my this handbag is my favorite. I love to carry a top handle. It, the zipper on it is so smooth. It, it's, it's very nice. It's substantial inside. Like it, it's just a, it's just an opening, just an opening inside. You just have one pocket right over here on the side, which I don't put anything in the pocket. Probably maybe I'll put my card case in there, but that's about it. I like it because it's in the Damier Ben print. It's durable. You can carry it in the rain and it won't smudge. It won't, it won't, the rain won't hurt it or anything. It won't get rain marks on it like the Fajetta one, like this, but I love it. It comes with this little key clay right here that has the key, that has the key in it um, for the locks, for the lock. I was thinking about getting this hot stamp, but you can't get it done on the weekend. So you got to go during the weekend. I'm not over on that side of town during the week so I don't know maybe one day I will but like I said this is a nice handbag I, I it, it opens up wide it has a little gusset right here on the side so you can get in and out of it I, I just love it I have nothing but good things to say about this handbag now it does come with a crossbody strap with a with a with a strap I don't like this I don't even use it to me I think it's too thin for this bag I don't like it. I was thinking about buying another strap for it or going to, um, they have these um, online, they have organized your bag. Like they have different straps for the bags that you can get. And I was thinking of just going on there and just getting uh, another strap because this one is just like too flimsy. It does have the LV right here on it, but I don't care. I don't care if it does because it's just, it's just flimsy for me. And I think they need to do something about the strap on this handbag because this is just for what you pay for a handbag and you get this flimsy strap. 
no it's not for me i just i just don't like the strap that's i it's just not for me at all so let me tell you what i paid for this handbag oh and i forgot to t oh i did tell you about the the smooth leather around the bottom that's it has it around the bottom all of this is like the handles are leather this part of it is leather as well. And then what I like about it, it has the feet on the bottom. Now, not many handbags have the feet on the bottom. Like the um, Gucci one I showed you, there's no feet on the bottom. And the Chanel one, yeah, it does have, the, the Chanel one does have feet on the bottom as well. So I forgot to mention that. But this bag is a go-to for me. I carry this out of, out of the bags that I showed you. I carry this handbag all the time. This is my go-to. Like, I would wear this handbag with this outfit as well. This is absolutely gorgeous. And let's talk about price. So, this handbag is, I paid for this handbag. It's, and, oh, also, I forgot to tell you, this handbag also was designed by Coco Chanel. So, if you want something, take it up Chanel or Remind you of Chanel, get this. This is well worth the money. Okay, so this handbag costs, I paid $1,400 for this bag. This bag is now $1,760. Now, this handbag, I would definitely buy again. Like I told you, I love, love, love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It is worth it and I don't think you could go wrong with this bag. Out of all the handbags, like I said, buy this one. Don't You don't need a handbag for $2,100. I mean, you could, I, like I said, it's worth it. I would pay buy it again, maybe. I think this, yeah, I think this one is $2,600 or something like that. I would buy it again. I do think it's worth it. This is a no for me. Absolutely not. I would not purchase this again. I don't even know what I was thinking now. I mean, when my husband, and when he purchased it, I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Now I think about that. Do you know what I could have did with that money? But no, I will not buy this again. Maybe I was going through midlife crisis or something. I don't know. But this, I would definitely purchase again. I absolutely love this handbag. I think it's gorgeous. You could dress this handbag up. You can dress it down. You could take out the straps. Right here is where you would put the strap. Like you can, you hook the strap on here. And then here's another closure right here where you hook the strap. And then it comes up like this. And this might work for people. I see a lot of people carrying it with the strap. But however, the strap isn't for me. Like I told you, it's not substantial enough. I think it's just flimsy and for what you pay for this bag to get this flimsy strap. I'm not for it. But that these are my thoughts. Um, if you do have these handbags and you will purchase them again, let me know why you would purchase them or why you wouldn't purchase them again. So thank you so much for returning to my channel. That is all I have for you today. And I really hope you like my reviews of this handbag. So don't forget, to subscribe to my channel. I will be back next Sunday with another video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment. I love you guys' comments. I answer them all. I get so excited when it says a comment from such and such, and I just get giddy because I like interacting with you guys. So thank you. I'll see you again next Sunday, and don't forget, share my video with a friend and have that friend share it with a friend and so on and so forth because let's try to get to 100 subscribers by my birthday. And also, when I reach that 100 subscribers, I have a surprise, but I'm not gonna tell you until I get to 100 subscribers. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon, bye.